We begin in central Gaza, where Palestinians have been the target of yet another deadly Israeli attack, this time in the Nusayrat refugee camp. At least 14 people were killed when Israeli missiles hit a residential tower on Tuesday night. The victims are mostly women and children. The attack happened as the Muslim holy month of Ramadan comes to an end. It's been six months since the war started, and more than 33,000 Palestinians have been killed. Well, this morning, Palestinians are gathering for Eid al-Fitr prayers. Let's go to our correspondent, Tariq Abu Azum. He's joining us live from Rafa in southern Gaza. Good to see you, Tariq. And as Muslims around the world begin to celebrate Eid, how is it being marked in Gaza? Well, right now, and this year, Eid al-Fitr for the majority of Gazans seems sounds to be an extraordinary year, an extraordinary event, specifically that the majority of Gazans have been displaced from the houses, have lost the majority of their beloved ones. And right now, as you can clearly see at the background, they are taking a part in celebrating uh, and rejoicing the celebration and the arrival of Eid al-Fitr. They are here today to uh, perform the prayers of Eid al-Fitr as they have been gathering, congratulating each other, despite the great deal of devastation, sadness and grief that's surrounding them. They are right now here praying in the open despite, because of the fact that the majority of mosques being completely destroyed as the one that's so obvious right now at the background now. They are here just to, uh, to say that we are trying to please ourselves despite all the horrific and terrible circumstances that they have been going through uh, since day one of the fighting. Palestinians, in fact, at each time this year, they were welcoming the uh, Eid al-Fitr with a great joy and happiness. They were touring from house to house in order to congratulate each other uh, of the arrival of Eid. They usually used to buy their children clothes, desserts, and even provide them with gifts and money. But this year, it's completely quite the opposite. They are unable to buy their children their uh, clothes, due to the fact that they are financially broken. They are no longer even to afford the basic uh, food items just to make desserts, just to feel the vibes of this Eid uh, uh, amid the Israeli unrelenting bombardment and bombing campaign that has been carried out within the past a few uh, weeks and months. And here today, amid these circumstances, all of them are trying to be together just to give them a sense of safety after all the horrific uh, conditions that they have been going through and here today they are all them all of them are united and trying to say that our real aid will be within when the day of the return of our houses that they were displaced from will be and Tariq, even as as they keep that resolve despite the incredibly challenging conditions that they're facing they are coming under more Israeli attacks, just the latest um, that we've been reporting on, that you've been reporting on overnight, um, on the Nusayrat refugee camp, an Israeli strike on a home in that refugee camp. Yes, uh, that's right. Despite the fact that Palestinians uh, were preparing themselves to uh, welcome and to uh, rejoice the arrival of Eid, the Israeli fighter jets had targeted a number of residential houses. One of the latest bloody and deadly attacks had, has killed at least 14 Palestinians in a Nusayrat refugee camp, an entire family being targeted. The victims included children and women. They have been killed without any prior warning as the house completely reduced to the Rappel. And that is the reality that the bombing campaign continues. Casualties among civilians continue uh, continues to rise without any kind of scale back of the Israeli military attacks. As uh, within the past uh, 24 hours, the Israeli military had killed a number of Palestinians and wounded others amid the ongoing military campaign. And uh, as Palestinians are trying to do their best to welcome this event, the Israeli military drones are still buzzing in the sky of Rafah district. Just to remind Palestinians that there is no any sense of safety, even in a day that's supposed to be as a, a day for celebration and rejoice for the majority of displaced Gazans who have been suffering, not only from destruction, but also from loss and grief across the territory. Tariq, thank you so much for that. That is our correspondent, Tariq Abu Azum, joining us live uh, from Rafa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.